get the light a little bit better here on these guys. There we go. Uh, and so, let's see, what are we going to do with these? We are going to do some more airbrushing on them to start with, uh, because they need some more gray, I have decided, in my not-so-infinite wisdom. And then after that, um, just a bunch of hand, hand painting. we got to paint up the skies. Sides. That word is hard to say. Uh, they got little bits of mail, um, so they're gonna do that. I got a lot of more like rusty stuff to put on them, uh, and then we're gonna do like we did with the others, and we're gonna paint these pretty light. Uh, almost probably, we'll probably go out to white or this uh, this gray that we're using, which is uh, Stone Golem by Army Painter, because that's what we're gonna do some airbrushing with right now. Airbrush, as always, we just start with our Flow Improver. I like Flow Improver first because that way the uh, paint you have down at the bottom of your pot can never be full thickness. And we're just going to kick that on and we're going to kick this on so it's going to get a little noisy in here for a couple minutes. This should be a pretty quick process. And we'll switch on over to the airbrush. So like I said, we're pretty much done. Um, we just need just a little bit after we uh, after we put our wash on these guys and tone them down very nicely. Now we just want to bring that up a bit. Get some paint started. And just use this to kind of smooth out. Get the ends here, get those nice and light colored. I'm really just putting a pretty light amount of paint through here.
chopping them up to a nice white one. Hey, Mystic Gamer, how you doing, bud? I hope it's not too uh, loud here. This We'll quiet this down in just a minute. I just gotta finish up this airbrush that I'm doing. Uh, where is my toothbrush? Getting just a little bit dry nozzle here, so I'm just gonna keep the tip clean. Well, that's cool. I've really just actually started trying to be better about streaming when I'm painting. Um, I got a lot of stuff to paint right now, so I'm going to be spending a lot of time painting. So I thought, you know, it'd probably be good for me to start getting the stream going again more often. Share this with y'all. I enjoy it. I'm definitely not a pro painter, but I have a lot of fun painting. Hey, these are coming along really nice. So how's things been? How's your summer going so far? Right? It's it's a kind of a pricey hobby. There's, I mean, it's not the most expensive hobby you'll ever get into, but it sure isn't the cheapest either. Mostly, this game I mostly just paint. Sorry, just a second. For lots of housework. Um, I so this game I mostly paint. Uh, I do actually want to learn how to play it, but I just I just bought these, so this is all pretty new for me. Uh, I have several other games that I do play a lot more. Uh, Infinity is one of them. Um, I'll probably end up painting some of those eventually on the stream as well. Um, but right now this game is mostly just painting for me. Mostly because the group around here that plays, uh, plays on a day that's inconvenient for me. Let's... Switch back over to here. And turn this off. Alright, so now... We gotta bring some color in. Oh, family reunion, huh? That's what summers are for, right? It's that sort of stuff. How long does your uh, family reunion go for? I need to clean up some of these brushes real quick. I was a bad man and left these just sitting when I went and took a break. Uh, 
A family reunion for a couple of weeks? Damn, man, that's dedication. are saved. These ones don't really matter. These are just shitty brushes anyway. What shall we do first here? So I think what we're going to start off with is just some metallics. Metallics are pretty quick and easy way to go here. Um, we need a pretty good chunk of it because we've got to do the several parts here. We're going to do their side. Then we've got to do the uh, oh the chain mail. I think those will be the main things we do. Metal. I'm going to make those all nice and rusted and gross looking. Uh, I think that's going to be fantastic. And then we got some wood to paint after that. So for this, um, we are just going to go with a little bit of metallic paint and some thinner. Gotta stop putting stuff away. I can't find it when I put it away. Ari Star, how you doing? Long time no see, lady. Mostly because I haven't been around. I have been too busy doing stuff that's not as fun as this. That. Do we want that to be metal? I don't think we want that to be metal. Need coffee? Uh, I understand that feeling. Started with the wrong piece. GG. So at first it's gonna look all nice and pretty. It's gonna be all metallic. And then we're gonna use this really cool wash on it that's gonna make it look all gross. And then we're gonna put rust all over it and corrosion. And it should look completely disgusting by the time we're done with it. Which will be great. That's what we want. Just trying to make it look like these guys have, you know, they've been dead forever. There's... It's been years and years and years since they died. Still carrying around the crap from their former life. And then we just want a nice fine tip when we do this. I am lost with no direction. Out here walking all alone. When I look at my reflection. I'll probably do the bells in brass, but when we do like brasses and golds, uh, and I forgot this yesterday, but it's better to paint them silver first and then go back over them with the gold paint.
The gold just doesn't do a very good job of coverage, so this helps make the cover better. And then, of course, we'll uh, we'll be making all of this stuff look suitably gross. Spot on that bell. So, did all you guys have a good holiday? Are some of you still enjoying some time off at least? I know Mystic, you probably are because of the joys of being in school, right? Oops, some more chainmail hiding in there. Can't HUD forever. I'm trying to decide, should I do the big bell brass too? What do you guys think? It wouldn't be that hard to do. And then instead of rust, we'll just do a bunch of corrosion on it instead, since brass does not rust. At least as far as I know, it doesn't. So, yep, pretty quick and easy. So we got all the metal, little bits of chain. There's some chain way down in his armpit there, but I am not gonna bother painting that because it's in a stupid spot. And I don't wanna paint that stupid spot. And just paint this whole side like this. Use a proper brush, makes this go super quick. I'm gonna do these up like the uh, glaive that I did yesterday, so it's gonna be all rusty, and then I'm gonna put some blood on it. And I really liked the effect yesterday with the one I made. I'm definitely excited to have more of these come out the same way, because it looked particularly disgusting, which uh, I think you want for a model like this. little bits of mail here. And we'll go back over these with a black wash. Then, rust it all up, put some corrosion on it, make it look suitably gross. All right, I like that.
I'm not sure how the brass on the guy with the bell is going to look. It's going to be my first time trying to make corroded looking brass, so we'll see how that comes out. Oh, made a little bit of a mess. We'll go uh, clean that up in a later step. It happens on occasion. Try to be careful, but every once in a while you just get in the zone and mess up. But when we do the highlights on the rest of the ghost, we will make it go away. Remember, there are no mistakes, just happy little ghosties. anything bueno okay that's good Slip there. This weapon real quick. And then we'll uh, get out some brass and do those bells. And we'll wash all this stuff up, start aging it, making it start looking a little bit disgusting. And then while that stuff is drying, uh, I'm gonna do some red on the, the little cowl that he's wearing, uh, and then probably the cloth across his eyes there, just to give them a little bit of contrast and color to pop out. Especially on these models, since you've got a lot of the same colors, you can add a little contrast here and there, it just really helps kind of break the model up, make them not look so monotone. So next, we're going to switch over for just a little bit of brass, or even gold would be be good. I almost feel like I could do gold and it would tone down. Yeah, let's let's just stick with the brass. going to be on our bill. So this should 
go on pretty easy over the silver that we did. I always think of Metallica every time I see this guy. And then he's got just a couple bells on the outside here that we need to do as well. That works. Change some water out here. Okay, let's see. What are we gonna do next? Wood or... Uh, actually, let's get some of this. Let's, I'm gonna let this dry for just a second. And then we are going to use... Where are you at? Seraphim Sepia. This is gonna make everything look completely disgusting. And then after that, some of this... Uh, ni Nikala? What? Ni Nikach. It's like uh, Klingon. I even made my dogs upstairs bark. Uh, Nalak Oxide. We're going to use that afterwards. And it's going to make it look disgusting. Sorry if you can hear the dogs barking. They are protecting the house. Alright, so we're going to start off on these guys that we didn't put the brass on so that the brass can suitably dry. And we're just going to be fairly liberal with this. The goal here is A, to keep this lid open. Hopefully it doesn't spray ink all over everything. And I always call this stuff ink. It's a wash, but not really an ink. We're just being pretty liberal with this. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of making it look really gross, like dirty. This is uh, Seraphim Sepia by uh, Citadel. And then we're just gonna put this in on this chain here. And really what we're doing is just aging this, making it look old, uncared for. This will make a nice base for us to put some oxide and some rust on top of. OK, 
Okay. So that guy's done. And these, I'm just gonna crawl over. Uh, sometimes I just dab it on in spots. For whatever reason, I feel like just doing the whole thing on these guys. Just going back over all the metal bits we just did. This is fun. So one question I've got, and I haven't decided if I want to yet or not, is whether I want to paint the skull actual like bone color or whether I want to leave it just ghosty color. Basically the color of everything of all the rest of him. I'm having an internal debate right now as to which of those I will like best. So now all his stuff is done there. Hang on just a second. Wife's been feeling sick, so I'm kind of coordinating with her to see if I need to help her out or not. And so now we're going to go and do this brass. Make this brass nice and disgusting. And I'm just going on a little thick. We'll go pull some of that off here. pretty happy with that so now we just gotta let him sit and dry for a little bit and while this is drying we're gonna move on to some brown we're gonna go ahead and do the halves of these weapons uh, we need a little bit of wood gotta get some wood here so for that I want a nice dark brown I didn't like the one I really used yesterday so I think I'm gonna use this instead today not these. Yeah, that one's just a little bit reddish, and this one is a little more not reddish. I don't know. I'm not a paint scientist. Pull some of that out. Okay. 
All right, I think she has her appointment sorted out. So let's go back through now and paint up these weapon halves. This should be a fairly quick process. Just got to be careful of some hands here. Looks like my cat was here and left us some cat hair. It was very nice of her. Uh, Gotta be a little bit careful here. get a little overexcited and have to clean up things. Well, that's okay. It won't be a big deal to fix any of that sort of stuff. So again, just a couple little spots we'll have to fix when we clean everything up, but that's not the end of the world. Try to keep that to a minimum is all. Careful when you grab onto stuff. Yeah, it wasn't as dry as I was hoping.
So I might have to take a break here. We'll see in just a minute. You guys are coming along pretty well though. I think they're gonna look really good. Let me see what her uh, response is. Oh, we keep working on these halves. One more here. Then we'll darken this down with a little bit of uh, dark wash. Get rid of my accidental metal paint here. funky thing on the end there. I'm not sure what that is. Might be an errant piece of plastic. Might be a cat hair. It's hard to say. Not sure. One of the above. Whoa. Up. Okay, so next we're going to darken up that wood with where are you, non oil? Right here. A little bit of gloss non oil. Doesn't matter if it's gloss or not. We're going to spray these down when we're done with them anyway. So we're just gonna put this on here to darken it up a little bit. Fill in the gaps around the hands. A 
like so. And then after this, while this dries, we'll work on the red and start working on the cowl around his face. And once this is all dry, then we'll uh, start applying our rust effect to all the metal. And by then, things will be looking pretty sexy. It'll just be the really the end highlights that we'll have left to do. Really? I don't know if I should take that as a compliment or not. How are you, Trembles? Now you're good with your hands, right? I mean... Dr. Trembles. I guess you know, you're not a surgeon. Are you? Are you a surgeon? I don't think so. Are you gonna be a surgeon? That part is done. What do we got next? What do we want to do next? Uh, red. I said we'd do red next, right? Red next. Not red next. Total different. Totally different thing. Um, for this, we want a nice, deep, dark internal medicine. Aha. Uh -huh. 